Hello everyone, today I want to do a quick video of how to instantiate scenes in other scenes. Scenes are a nice way to create smaller components and then use them to load them into other scenes. So I wanted to do that with the player. Now currently we have our player created in our world scene and I wanted to make a new scene out of the player and load that into the world scene so you can see how that works. So first we right click the player then we can create a save branch as scene. So we create a new scene for the player. Call it player scene. You see that it gets the TSCN extension. And here we have a player scene. So what we can do now is remove this one by deleting the node. And if you open the player scene, you see that our player is here. Normally the position of the player will be at zero, zero. We can do that by moving the position here in the inspector, move it back. So now let's load it into the main scene. Create a script in the world, call it main scene. And what we can do here is instantiate the scene. By doing on ready far, we can call it player and then preload the script, which is the player scene. And then here we want to add it to the current scene, so we do player instantiate or instance. So then we add the player scene as a child to the current scene. We have to do here for player instance, put it into a new variable, player instance. And what happens now is we created an instance of the player scene on this line. And now we add it as a child to the current scene. So it will then like during runtime, it will create a new player node here. If we run it, we can see that. So let's run it. You can see it falling. And here on the top left, you have local and remote. You see in the local, you don't have the player. And if we go to remote, we have the root, then the world scene. And then here the player was added as a child. Now you saw the position was at zero, zero. We can also change that if we want by doing player instance set position need a factor two. Let's play it again. Now it moves up a little bit. And this is an easy way to instantiate scenes in Godot. I hope you have a nice day.